This is Mike on Cars and Bikes, and today we're going to talk about delivery and registration. So first, roll the tape of me seeing the car roll off the truck for the first time. I'm about to take delivery of my new 2016 Corvette. It's coming off the track right now. So you have seen the car, or you at least heard the car. I'll probably show another photo of the car just to make sure you know exactly what it is. This is no teaser video. I'm just gonna show you what it is. Uh, and then I'll talk about what you have to do. So when the car rolls off of the truck, you get some things. I get the buyer's guide, which the dealer kind of showed me before I got it, has a warranty, the car is used, uh, and I got the car with this sticker. You can see, it's about 70 grand. I got it about 25% off. Uh, the way you do that is you buy it one year old, the car had 2,000 miles on it, which is essentially brand new to me, and it has a very heavily discounted rate. Uh, you may see other dealers offering maybe 10 or 15% off of MSRP. Um, good luck getting 25 off of a brand new one. Basically, it doesn't exist. Uh, so I went to the used market and found somebody in Ohio to sell me this vehicle. Uh, now, as I talk about these, uh, I'm gonna make an espresso because uh, I'd like some caffeine. Uh, so, now, when you actually get the car delivered off of the truck, the car doesn't come with a license plate. Yeah. So, in California, that's actually okay. Cars that you have just purchased don't need a license plate for something like 30 or 60 days. I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments for exactly what length of time you have. So that gives you enough time to register the car. Uh, now to register a car in California, you need a couple of things. Uh, if it is a used car like I got, uh, it has to be a 50 state legal car. Maybe I'll show a uh, photo of the sticker, which all Corvettes are 50 state legal. Uh, then you need to get it emission tested. And I kind of naively just took it down to the local shop and said, hey, I need you to, to take to do the emission test on this vehicle and thought it would pass and uh, I would go to the DMV essentially right after that. So I took it there for the first time and I got this. I don't know if you can read this, I'll read it to you. It says OBD2 monitors not ready. Uh, you can search the forums, a lot of people get this, a lot of new cars uh, are simply not ready. Uh, when you buy it from the dealership, uh, it is simply already inspected and it's already good and it kind of saves you this headache of, oh shit, I have a car and I need to register it, I need a license plate. I'm driving around without a license plate, <laughs> uh, which is not a great, uh, not a great feeling to have. Uh, I'm run this through. Now, uh, there's a procedure that you can do uh, to reset these OBD2 sensors. You can see it on the GM forums. Uh, maybe I'll show a photo of it here. Uh, you essentially drive the car 55 miles an hour for a while on highways in California, which is really dangerous, and then you coast to something like 20 miles an hour without touching the brakes, which you can only do on and off ramp. Um, so I went out late one night and did this procedure, and later on, I came and took it to the same shop who tested it essentially for free or for $10 to retest it, and this time, I was lucky enough to pass. Uh, so I had passed emissions, uh, I had most of the paperwork in order, and I went to the DMV, uh, waited in line for three hours, and paid few thousand dollars, uh, which is not very much fun, 
Uh, you pay the rest of the tax uh, after you register the car, uh, and then they hand over to you your license plates uh, in a little box, a uh, little envelope, uh, and you can go put them on. Uh, the DMV will also make sure that you have the 50 state sticker. Uh, which the DMV staff will be unable to find unless you show them exactly where it is, so it's probably a good idea to, to have that. Uh, now, th this whole process is a bit of a pain, and I feel like it's one of the main reasons why the dealers uh, kind of charge the premium that they do in California. Uh, if you want to try to save a good bit of money, uh, like I did, you can buy it out of state, have it shipped in, pay a car carrier for a certain fee, and then go through the pain to watch your car fail, brand new car, failing emissions, uh, do the procedure, uh, get it to pass, go to the DMV, wait in line, pay more money. Actually, it's the same amount of money you would pay at the dealership uh, for the tax. Uh, but this whole process, uh, uh, you, can save, you can save thousands. Uh, and you can use that for other things that you may want to uh, have fun with. Uh, now, I am planning to do uh, some other videos to talk about some of the mods I have and uh, to talk about exactly how I chose the, the trim that I did. Uh, and for now, uh, I will leave you with this, a nice espresso, and have a good night, YouTube.